Hey everyone, who's ready for a marvelous movement Monday? Meet Talia with the Yellowhead Flyway Birding Trail Association. She's gonna teach us how to go pond dipping. So hey guys, we are here at the Ravine Ecological Preserve and we are so excited to go pond dipping with you. So let's go. But first, before we start, we always have to remember safety. And so when we're by water, it is really important that we bring a friend. And so please bring your parents or some other older adult to supervise you. Also, please do not go to any body of water. We don't want to go to dugouts or anything that um, is unsafe. So coming to this preserve here with this boardwalk is perfect and you can actually get the best bugs here too. So it's just, just come here to pond dip if you're going to. So all you need for pond dipping are these simple things. You need a butterfly net or any other kind of small net that has as small holes as possible. The next thing, any type of bucket, if it's more shallow, that's probably better, but it doesn't really matter. I've used like five gallon pails before. And then if you have them, an empty ice cube tray is great, so you can look at your little critters up close. And then even a measuring cup, so you can pick stuff up afterwards. That's a fun thing to have too. We are going to pond dip for aquatic invertebrate. An aquatic invertebrate is just a big way of saying water bugs. And so there's a specific way we want to do this. Um, so when you have your net, whatever type it is, you want to bring it and try and catch the bugs by going underneath them. Once you have your bug, you want to quickly, as quick as possible, bring it down and then gently Take your net and put it upside down and lightly shake to get the bugs out. You want to do this as gently as possible so that you can um, care for the bugs as best as possible as we enjoy looking at them. Okay, we caught some awesome bugs, so now I'm going to just let you know about some of the common ones that you may be able to catch here. So here we have the lesser water boatmen and the greater water boatmen. So the greater ones are these big ones. Here, I'll try and get it to move a bit. And greater water boatmen also are called back swimmers because they actually swim upside down. And water boatmen are called that because their legs are so long that it looks like they are oars in a boat and they're paddling. Okay, these are one of my favorites. They are called water mites and they look kind of like ticks. They're just small and round and red and there's a lot in here. So what is cool about these is these are some of the most nastiest and uh, violent carnivores. So they are the big predators in the the pond, even though they're really, really small, but they can eat leeches and other big tadpoles. So this here is a damselfly nymph. Um, and this is cool because they will, as they go through metamorphosis, they'll turn into a fly that um, flies in the air. But right now they're a water bug. Now this one might look sim similar to the damselfly, but this is a mayfly nymph. Um, you can see that the little tail, I don't know if they're feathers or what they are, but they look um, a bit different. But similarly, it will turn into a fly once it's an adult and fly around in the sky instead of the water. So this is a leech and leeches are parasites, which mean that they suck blood um, and they're carnivores. Um, so they're pretty cool and there's a lot, so you could definitely catch some of these. So this is a pond snail and there's a lot of these too and these go um, on the bottom of the pond floor and are pretty cool to actually find. You can find some of the shells but to find an actual pond snail is pretty fun. So for our last bug today, we um, don't actually know what this, this larva or nymph is. So if you know what it is, let us know but it's a mystery. Okay, so we are done pond dipping today and it was a lot of fun. Once we're done pond dipping, we must return the different bugs that we have caught back into the water that we have found them. So, here we go. 